We know that having families engaged in their schools plays a vital role in students' success. For too long, many children in our most populous city have struggled without this connection. Forty years ago, the city of Wilmington was split into four districts, forcing students to travel many miles to attend school, despite the wishes of city children, parents, and community leaders. Legislation I signed this past week paves the way for a careful process to redraw lines and reduce the number of school districts in Wilmington. The laws follow recommendations of the Wilmington Education Advisory Committee I established last year to give the community a stronger voice in the future of their schools. If we're successful, we will see the long overdue end of busing many students far from their homes, a system that has made it difficult for families and the community to fully participate in their schools. It's especially the case in our highest need neighborhoods where students are not benefiting as much from the improvements we've seen in education across our state. I signed the laws here at the old Hokesson Colored School number 107, the historic school attended by eight-year-old Shirley Beulah when she and her family famously challenged unequal treatment of African-American children, becoming part of the famous Supreme Court decision Brown v. Board of Education that outlawed desegregation. We must strive to give more children in our state what Shirley's parents wanted for her, what all parents want for their kids, the best possible education to prepare for a prosperous future. By seizing this moment to transform Wilmington schools, we'll create greater opportunities for students and families to reach their potential. And that will keep Delaware moving forward.